surprise, motherfucker. What's up, everybody? Beastly Gamer here. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about Microsoft, their Xbox plans, and uh, what the future holds for the company. Now, in 2015, and even in 2014, we saw some exclusive deals. Now, exclusive deals I'm talking about are things like how Microsoft, over the last few years, has had exclusivity for the Call of Duty franchise. Uh, how Microsoft has this exclusive deal with uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider, which is going to be a huge, a humongous game. Uh, how Sony has Street Fighter V, how they got this exclusive deal with Destiny where they're getting uh, exclusive DLC and time content. Uh, how they now Sony has Black Ops 3 and the Call of Duty franchise for the foreseeable future. And for the most part, I always thought that this was going to persist. I thought that these companies were going to continue to, to throw bags of money at developers for exclusivity with their franchises, for timed content, for exclusive content. I thought that it made the battlefield more exciting to know that these companies are vying for our dollars by spending their own. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work out too well, especially for people who only have one console. Like people who have a PS4 this generation and don't have an Xbox One, it sucks for you that you won't get Tomb Raider, Rise of the Tomb Raider for a year. That sucks. And it really does. And it's really unfortunate for some people that that's what the situation is. Uh, some of these exclusive deals, I have not seen one that lasted that long before at all. I think that they've only been a few months at most before. But this Rise of the Tomb Raider thing, this is breaking new ground. This is basically saying if you only own a PlayStation, you're in a lot of trouble if you want to play this game. And to me, that's really exciting. If I didn't already own an Xbox One, that would be motivation for me to grab one because I have to have Rise of the Tomb Raider. But, apparently, Phil Spencer does not want to continue on doing things in this manner. He does not want to continue to work with developers in this type of way. He wants to focus on their own games and focus on their relationships with third-party developers. There's an article on GameSpot.com. I'll put a link in the description for you guys. Xbox One, don't expect many more third-party exclusive deals. Says executive, and that executive is Phil Spencer, the man, the myth, the legend himself. I'm going to paraphrase for you guys, but basically this is what he said. Quote, my strategy is around our own first party franchises and investing in franchises that we own. And probably fewer exclusive deals for third party content. I want to have strong third party relations, but paying for many third party exclusives isn't our long-term strategy. So basically what he's saying is this, he wants to focus on creating their own games. They want to have better relationships with third-party developers, but he does not want to continue to throw money at these developers for these exclusive deals, which may or may not give them the return that they want. Now, I think that uh, Tomb Raider is probably gonna be an amazing return for them, especially if the game comes out and it works. You know, we have situations with games where they don't work anymore. Tomb Raider looked phenomenal. Every time I've seen it, it just really made my jaw drop. So I'm, I'm super excited about getting my hands on it the day that it's, it's released on the Xbox. Unfortunately, people on PlayStation, you gotta, you're going to have to wait. You know, you're just going to have to wait this time. Uh, but he doesn't want to continue with this strategy of dealing with developers. He doesn't want to continue with the strategy of throwing bags of money on the table and telling them we want exclusive content. We want exclusive DLC. We want exclusive time. We want to have the game a few months before our, our competitors. And uh, for the most part, I thought that this was not going to happen. I, my thoughts were that this was going to persist even more. Because if you guys see what's happening here, they're ramping up. Sony and Microsoft are going after these developers like vultures. That, hey, look, we got money. We want you to do this for us. We got money. We want you to do this for us. So either Phil Spencer, he, either he's being extremely honest right now and laying it all out at this uh, conference at GameCore. He's actually doing an interview at GameCore. Either he's being totally honest or he's being extremely disingenuous and basically making Sony lower their defenses while they continue to go after developers for exclusive deals. I don't know which one it is. You guys let me know in the comment section. What do you think it is? You think Phil Spencer's done? That he thinks that you know paying for exclusive content is uh, going the way of the dodo, or do you think that he's just giving Sony the okie doke that they're still going to continue to do this? I personally kind of think that's what's going to happen. You guys, let me know in the comments below. Give a thumbs up, show support of my channel, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.